Hey, my name is Jalen. My partner and I live in a 36 foot converted school bus and we have been doing Vlogmas all Christmas long. So today is Vlogmas day 14 and we will be going head to head against each other in a gingerbread house building contest with 10 minutes to build and five minutes to decorate. Okay. Is the goal to be as accurate as possible to the box? No, no, it's like okay. most creative and we aren't going to decide. We're going to leave it to the people in the comments. Ooh. So you have to put in who you think is the winner of this competition. All right. We'll see you on the other side. See you on the other side. <laughs> Testing out a few different places in the bus that feel right to actually do stuff like this. I think this one feels the most right so far, so I hope we look good on that end. Uh, camera's a little far away from us, so maybe we'll just speak up to talk to you. But these it's are. It's time! It's time. We're doing a gingerbread competition Daniela versus Jalen. How do we decide we're gonna do this? Do you wanna do 10 5 or just do 15 straight, straight through? 15 minutes. 15 minutes straight through? Yep. Okay. You don't, oh, don't even look at the instructions. Okay, I'm not looking. That doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's no rules. 15, I got a head start, so. No, no. Just take your tape off. <laughs> Set timer. Set time. All right, we're doing gingerbread houses and a Q&A, get to know us chat about bus life. We got mostly questions about bus life, so get ready. All right, ready? Okay, timer. 15 minutes. You ready? Ready? Yeah. Go. Wow. Alright, so we'll go for like this is silly stuff. two minutes and then we'll answer a question. Okay. These look a little overbaked, I gotta tell you. <laughs> I don't know how much we want from the Dollar General. Oh my so. god, the edges look so crusty. Careful, careful. <gasps> okay, whew. So the, oh, I cracked one. Oh, man. Oh, it smells great, though. Oh, my God. Mmm, that smells so it smells good. It smells good. You can eat this, right? I've never yeah, eaten one after. What? You gotta eat it. We're gonna be sick. <laughs> I feel like it should just come in this pouch because it's going to be such a pain to get it from that pouch from this into pouch this, to this pouch. pouch. Yeah. yeah. I can't tell if I need to like be rushing or... I think you just go at your pace until you realize that you're like, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> I hope it's been two minutes. You gotta answer a question. Already? Yeah. Every two minutes we'll answer a question. Pause. All right, let's answer a question. Just getting started. <laughs> just getting started. No, stop touching me. That's not fair. It's so hard not to. Freaking cheater. <laughs> question one is, tell us the story of how you met. We met on Jazz Hands. Jazz Hands? Jazz Hands? Tinder. And yes. I was still married. <laughs> I don't know if you want to put that in there. <laughs> technically, yeah. So it was one of the first things Jalen told me was that he was separated and mm. technically still married mm -hmm. because in North Carolina you have to be separated for a year before you can get, you can get divorced. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But so it was we, still that year. We period. met on Tinder and either later that day or the next day. The we, next day. I thought he was crazy, honestly. We <laughs> I almost didn't go. Well, she was right. I'm crazy. Um, we went to a rooftop bar downtown and then we went to Crave and I mean, that was, I mean, that was it. I mean, and we then hung out over and Lucas made soup. Yep. And we hung out every day, literally since then. Yeah. Pretty, pretty much. much. <laughs> well, I was still working in the woods at that time. Mm -hmm. So true. 
I was around like one week on and one week off at work, so mm -hmm. it's true. Full time. And I was building a store, so yeah, it's good timing. No, you weren't building a store. Not yet. You were trucking. Oh yeah, I was trucking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> All because he said he could socialize my cat Dolly. You did yep. a great job. I did a great job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? All right. Get back into it. Ready and go. All right, now I'm a little worried because we're already at 13 minutes and I haven't done anything except for try to prep. I don't like this whole squeezing this pouch into this pouch thing. I guess you didn't have to. Man, I thought I was, I had this envision that I was going to like weld these together. It was going to look pretty and now I'm here like struggling with my first piece. I said weld and all I can think of is our bike rack. <laughs> I don't but know how you did that. That's them. a fun story. So we bought e-bikes while we were in Newport, Vermont, and we were so stoked that we ended up staying another week. We waited for our bike rack to come in, and then we tried to mount it ourselves, and it did not work out at all. So literally from Newport, Vermont, literally the tip of the U.S., all the way back to Asheville over a course of a few months, we had our bikes in the bus and had to take them out every time we wanted to use them. Thankfully they do fold up, but it was absolutely so awful. So before we get back on the road, that's something we really want to accomplish. This is awful. I am straight up not having a good time. <laughs> I think that we both I don't know, look like four year olds did this. <laughs> That's the goal, isn't it? I don't know, there's something very nostalgic about the taste of this icing for me. It's not good icing by any means, but there's something special about it. I don't know, mine is just like a rock. Man, this is tough. Gotta have good forearm strength <laughs> just to squeeze it out of here. We're seven minutes. Let's answer another question. Not I guess, ready. I'd drop it. <laughs> Our next question was, is there anything you would do differently if you were to build a bus again? I don't think, I, I want to answer this question first by saying, I don't think I'll ever want to build another bus. I think that if we want to build something else, we'll just rip something out of this one and rebuild that thing. Yes. And we've done that every single time that something has not worked out for us. We did it with the couch that used to be a huge pullout couch, now a smaller couch. We had an 800 watt solar system that's now a 2000 watt solar system. As things, as we progress in living in the bus, we're always going to continue building things. I'm really happy with our bus and our build in general. I think there are some things like, you know, getting an activity bus so that you have built-in storage outside and a little bit higher of a roof and mm. things like oh the actual bus itself the bus itself like parts of that like mm -hmm. maybe having an emergency door that you can open back here like a, a third door mm -hmm. but i wouldn't trade our bus for anything it's been so reliable and that means more to me than any of those features um yeah. in terms of what we did i think just our lighting placements we don't have any light in our hallway or where our vanity sink is mm. and so putting a light right there would have just made a world of a difference yeah. in my opinion it's a good point yeah like a ceiling light like this yeah. but we're gonna we have a lamp so we gotta get a light bulb for yeah. it then lamps are just cuter anyway nobody are likes so much overhead than overhead lighting all right all right let's, let's get, get back, back to into it, it. Okay. we got seven minutes 17 seconds we're literally halfway through <laughs> great because the icing's horrible no, mine's just squeezing upwards <laughs> towards my hand. <laughs> it looks like it's going to blow Look. out of it. Oh, no. It won't come out at all. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do. Oh, man. All right. I got to do dabs. It's the only way it's working. It's not runny enough. Icing is horrible. Ugh. I thought it would like warm up in my hands and get softer or something, you know? Don't you dare ruin my my tower. <laughs> I'm almost to a roof. Smokey, you're being crazy, honey. Alright, we got four minutes left. Let's stop. What? <laughs> Are you serious? 
hilarious. Oh man, I might win this one. Smokey, get out of here! Get out of here! No, don't stop! I paused it. I'm not done. I want my roof on. All right, you get the four minutes, and then we're just gonna do overtime. Five minutes to decorate. Fifteen. All right, we're doing it. We're doing fifteen minutes. He's already changing the rules. What are your upcoming travel plans? We have so many. Stop it. What? Stop. Oh. Unless you want to talk and do. No. We have so many up upcoming plans, and I'm really excited to get back on the road. It's been wonderful to chill in Asheville for a couple months it's and work on the bus. Needed. Yeah. Especially after our New England trip, we were pushing every day for months over the summer mm -hmm. to a new spot, a new location, a new city, a new friend, mm -hmm. or an old friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was really nice to cool down and collect ourselves again. I'm very grateful for that. But our upcoming plans, we're taking a plane. We're going to New York for Christmas. That's mm -hmm. coming up most recently. On Wednesday, we'll be there. We'll do New York City vlogs. Mm -hmm. And then for um, after New Year's, January 12th, we'll be starting our trip out to uh, Arizona for mm -hmm. Schoolie Palooza 2024 with our good friends, Joel and Mia. They're going to come with us in their school bus. We're going to caravan together across the country. It's going to be It's going to be their first trip awesome. out. It's going to be really awesome. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully make it to Baja, California if we can. I would absolutely love to. We'll see what we can do. Other than that, it's kind of up in the air until May. We are, Is it May, May or April? May, my brother's graduating, so we're going to go down to Miami to be at his graduation. And then I also have a friend's wedding in the Ozarks, and we're going to head up there the week after. So it's going to be a packed May. Yeah, it's going to be a packed May. So we have a ton of plans, and then also we have free time. We haven't planned anything, which mm -hmm. I think is really important. Just kind of like have some free room time or and just we work in the really desert. well with like an end goal and then taking our time and our route to get to that place yep absolutely good point all right i'm ready ready yeah all right we got four minutes nine seconds left go i'm starting my decorating i'm gonna start with these little sugar beads Mm, they're like little baby runts. I'm excited about these. Mm, they are like baby runts. Love that. Looking good. I got some color on the board. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh-oh, she's got a roof going on. I'm commentating. I got this. <laughs> Sports commentating. Professional. Pressure's on. Pressure's on. We got... And I hate this stupid bag. Two minutes, 30 seconds left. Oh my God, this is not enough time to make a gingerbread house. Well, I think that was kind of the point too. Like, it's about like pushing yourself to go a little quicker than you normally would, you know? A little. This is something you usually take like an hour or so to do. <laughs> These cute little beads. They're adorable. I'm having a good time. Hope you're having a good time watching. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just rubbing my, rubbing my icing. It's everywhere. snowing a lot more on hers than it's snowing on mine. All right. One minute left. Let's go ahead and answer another question. What? Question time. What is the favorite place that you've traveled so far? There's a couple towns for me that I really, really enjoyed in Vermont. And there's a couple places out west that I really enjoyed. I really loved Flagstaff, and I wish we could have spent more time there, but it was snowing when we went. We were not prepared for that whatsoever. I think that I really enjoyed Bisbee. It was a really cool town. Yeah. Uh, kind of nestled into the canyons in Arizona. Really, really awesome. St. Johnsbury, Vermont, and Lake Willoughby, uh, Vermont as well. Those are some of my favorite places while we traveled so far. Yeah, Jalen and I have a lot of the same favorite places. I think we enjoy the same things about a place, and those were all great. I loved everywhere we've been, honestly. It's all been different and beautiful in its own way, and yeah. I'm just happy to experience it all. Yeah. Yeah, very good point. Yeah. It's all great. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> all right, ready to get back in there? Yeah, I gotta finish. My fucking, my leg is asleep. I'm down. Uh. You gotta get up. Ready? Go. One minute, thirteen seconds. Put on your final touches. Final touches. Final touches. I feel like our time is. Seventeen seconds. No. Oh my god, I'm gonna finish. 
Release the roof. Oh no, I'm dropping brunts. Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Down. <laughs> As of 15 minutes. Let's get a shot. This is where we're at. Oh, you've got a front piece going. Nice. Yeah. What do you guys think? Daniela's or mine? Cute. Love the angle. front. Very cute. <laughs> Looks like you had a flurry going. All right. What do you guys think? Round one. All right. I think that we do round two. Round two. Five minutes. <laughs> Seven minutes? Yeah. We're making these, um, we're making <coughs> this up as we go, all right? Okay. <laughs> and seven minutes, go. Mm, I feel like I need to use all these gumdrops. My icing dried. Oh, no. I mean, kind of good. Oh. I feel like I didn't add anything to the sides. I'm just all about this roof. What color did you go with your front piece? A yellow one? I don't have many colors. I'll go with a green. I only had one yellow. Hmm. One yellow? And all oranges. Oh, those are cute. Oh, they look like little lights. I love that. Such a supportive teammate. <laughs> Every time the icing's on my finger, I, I get the feeling of just like, I should just put I this in my eat mouth. This, yeah. We are clearly two very different people when it comes to this. Like, Daniela is not afraid to get messy at all, and I, my fingers have just been like away from everything. I can't do the bag. All right, we're at three minutes and 10 seconds. Let's stop now. Oh, you have that glob on your finger. Oh my god. <laughs> You just rip the thing open and just yeah. going at it. I love it. Okay. I see the front of your house. Wow. That's cute as hell. Thanks. How long have you been dating and where did you meet? I've been dating for two years. Mm -hmm. Eight months. Mm -hmm. Does a cat litter box get stinky being in a small space? The answer is no. No. People are always surprised when they come in and hear that we have cats. They're like, oh, it doesn't smell like cats in mm -hmm. here. So I take a lot of pride in the litter we use. But obviously, like anything, if you wait too long to change the box, it'll start to smell. Yeah. We use Fresh Steps, which is a like Super silica... unsustainable yeah. litter. But it's the but only it's one so that good. doesn't smell like litter. Even like clean litter, brand new, right, right out of the jar, scent is scented and smells like cat litter. My other favorite one was the pine pellets because on the road it was really hard to find the mm. fresh steps that we like. Mm -hmm. The pine pellets worked really great. They didn't track, but the house just smelled like farm all the time. So Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Three minutes, ten seconds left. That's it. That's all we got. Okay. And go. There's still like one more piece that mine I feel like is missing to like make it feel. I think I know what I need. I'm going for like a light strip up at the top. Good use of my last three minutes, I feel like. We're gonna be finding pieces of candy in our bed for the next oh year. Oh god, year. Per perma candy. <laughs> Oh, it's cute. It's cute. Tomorrow, Daniela is off work on a Friday, and so you're going to get to enjoy a nice vlog with her tomorrow while she goes out and does what she does in her, in her afterlife. One minute, two seconds. What do I add with my one minute? Everything. Put it all on there. I think I'm calling it. I'm good. You're calling it? You're good? good? Yeah, I'm good. As you're literally stuffing stuff on. <laughs> you're good about this. 20 seconds. Remember, you guys are judging this, so hit us in the comments who you think won this one. That's it. Hands off. Mm. Thank you so much for joining you guys. <laughs> Danielle's going to need a shower, and I don't know how she's going to take one without a shower in the bus right now. <laughs> Just show each other. Our neighbors. Aw, I 
it's so cute. I love your light shirt. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's my favorite part for sure. And I do like what you did with the balls on the front. I wouldn't have thought to do that. <laughs> Shove them. <laughs> Shove them. We'll get in here and give you a close up. But as Jam but as Jalen was saying, thank you for joining us on another day of Vlogmas. I had a lot of fun with this one, actually. Felt good to get a little messy and be a kid and eat a ton of sugar. I'm going to be up all night. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you get to see the rest of our Vlogmas videos. Good night. Good night. Good night, gingerbread house man. <laughs>